The Word of God that we will study today is those who will display the glory of God. Let us take time to study about this. Let us turn to John chapter 3, verse 3 together. In reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. In other words, they cannot enter heaven. What should we do to be born again? We should throw away our old way of living that conforms to that of the people in the world and live a life of faith that can display the glory of God as true Christians. Shouldn't we be the ones that display the glory of God with our righteous deeds? That is why it is written, it will not be easy to enter the kingdom of God unless you are born again. Then, how much righteousness and good deeds should we need to be considered born again? There is a standard in the Bible. Let us open Matthew chapter 5. We all wish to enter the kingdom of heaven. Then, from now on, we must get rid of all our wrongdoings and live a holy and righteous life as the children of God. Let us look at Matthew chapter 5, verse 20. For I tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven. All the children of Zion must obey all the commandments of God, such as the Sabbath and the Passover. Additionally, we should never neglect righteousness as the children of God. Though our past deeds may have been lacking or even wrong, from today on, we must seek God's will earnestly and live a righteous life that God is pleased with. Don't we all want to enter heaven? If we want to enter heaven, our deeds should not fall into the category under the rule you will certainly not enter. Then, how should we live our lives compared with the Pharisees and teachers of the law? Our righteousness should surpass theirs. Let us move on to Matthew chapter 5, verse 15. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see our good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Though people say they believe in God, they are not good or righteous or kind. Then this rule, you will certainly not enter, applies to them. Everyone, all our ways of speaking, attitude, and manners should be good enough to be respected by the people around us so that they say he is truly a genuine, and sincere person as one who believes in God. He inspires me to go to church. The way we live must change. Everyone, we must be the ones who give glory to God. Those who glorify God should be better in their character, attitude, manners, ethics, and morals. Let us all become the children of Zion who can glorify God in every way. Wishing all our Zion family members to inscribe God's Word deeply in our hearts and successfully enter the Kingdom of Heaven, I would like to conclude the sermon. Thank you very much.